Welcome to Cobot. This video is to show you how to set up your membership plans. First, go to Setup, Plans. A membership plan describes the fee charged to your members and how often they can use your space for that fee. In order to add a member to your space, you must add them to a plan. We've added a few as examples here that you can either edit or remove and start fresh. Let's try editing one of these existing plans. The first part of your plan is the basic settings section. This is where you can add your plan name and a basic description. You can add a price to be billed monthly, quarterly, or annually. When you check the public box, your plan will be publicly visible via your sign-up page and on search engines. So make sure you use generic names such as full-time membership or day pass plan. When you check the box hidden plan, the plan will not be publicly visible. You can also decide whether or not members signing up to this plan need to have their memberships confirmed. Once activated, your member will not have access to their member portal until after you have confirmed them. Uploading a photo or choosing a custom color will help give your plans a more fun and engaging look on your sign-up page. You can use your space's default terms and conditions that you have already set up under Setup Basic, or you can add custom terms and conditions here. You can also add cancellation notices and minimum commitments. Let's check out the time passes. This section allows you to create plans for members who don't work full-time in your space, such as drop-ins or non-members. You can add multiple types of passes, such as full or half-day passes, and you can add as many different kinds as you like. Make sure the title of the pass is clear, as these are what your members will be able to choose from in their member portal when they purchase more. You must add the base rate for a single pass here. It is not possible to make the value of a pass zero. You can also choose to give them a certain number of passes for free, either per month or per week. The member will then be prompted to purchase more passes once their free passes have been used up. You can also add volume discounts of each kind of pass here. There are a number of different access and check-in management solutions that you can utilize in order to track these. Check out our FAQs and guides for more information. Next, let's look at the Extras tab. Extras are items or services your members can book in addition to their plan. For example, a key to your space, mail service, or a locker. When you add an extra here, a checkbox will appear on your sign-up form. Extras are billed along with the fee for the membership plan and will appear on the invoice as a separate line item. Keep in mind that these are charged monthly, even if you have your membership fees charged once a year. Next, let's look at the Bookings tab. This section allows you to include a certain number of free credits against your resources. For example, a full-time member might get 10 hours of meeting room usage for free. If you select multiple resources, these credits will be pooled amongst them. After the 10 hours are used up, you can choose to enter in a discounted rate here, or, if left blank, they will be charged the default price that is listed on your resource. You can add multiple credits, or you can make it a monetary amount. You can also add prepaid booking passes to a plan. These make members prepay for bookings. Members on a plan with booking passes have to purchase prepaid passes before making any bookings on your calendar. If there aren't any prepaid booking passes populated, your members will be billed on their monthly invoice for any bookings created. The message section will allow you to add three different kinds of messages. The welcome message, which will be displayed to new members within their member portal after they sign up, the welcome message for unconfirmed members, which will be displayed to new members within the member portal after they sign up when you've checked the new members must be confirmed box under basic settings, and the sign up message. The sign up message will appear at the bottom of that specific plan's description box on the sign up form. This is a good place to add additional information to your members to explain the next steps in the sign up process. The sign up charge is where you can add a one time fee such as a deposit sign-up charge, or admin fee. This will only be applied to the member's very first invoice when they are first registered. It will not apply if the member is changing their plan. You've now completed your plan.